Um, I don't know, only time will tell whether that's, whether that's uh, a blessing or not. But, um, you know, every, uh, every game that you play, you want to try and go out and win it. And uh, we've lost the, the habit of winning at the moment, I think, because of our, our game is OK in parts and it's, it looks quite good and we look quite comfortable. And then the errors we make in a, in a short moment of time, particularly the first two goals today, the opposition of Manchester City's quality will punish you. So, for me, it's still working to minimalise those errors and making sure if we do, somebody does make the error, that we don't allow the opposition to score. And I think that's obviously the problem since I've been here and the problem again today. I thought we were going to get to half-time at nil-nil. Um, I thought we recovered from a sticky start today where Man City controlled a lot of the possession in the first 15 minutes, we found it difficult to keep the ball, but then we we sort of worked our way into the game somewhat, a um, couple of half chances, and then that soft goal we learned just before half time. But I, I thought we picked it up again, um, and Lorix was the main one then. You know, who knows what it might have been had we put that one in the back of the net. But but we we chased the game, and because it's the FA Cup, you've got to try to get back in it and because we opened ourselves up too much, the second goal was Manchester City at the best with the quality they've got, give them that type of space and they'll punish you. Do you think Man City could have been down to 10 men and still half You mean should have been down to 10 men? Yeah, should have been down. No doubt about it. Well, much he'd been booked for less, much less, so just a minute before that, so, and obviously that was a sending off, so the referee hasn't done his job for me on the, on the incident that that he that yeah yeah I did there was obviously for me on the consistency of what the referee was doing in the game was a uh, an absolute certain yellow card but uh, I've got more to worry about the players in the goals that we're conceding uh, than worry about the referees at the moment uh, so for me um, seeing the old squad now know what we what we've got and um, uh, we've got two games coming up now uh, the window shuts on Tuesday slup is a big blow. With an hamstring problem today, so that he'll be missing for a while. Sam, was, uh, was Pensetti carrying injuries? No, no, we's, we, we wanted to get Lorick on the pitch, so we, we did 45 minutes apiece for those two today because um, of the load that we've got coming up for Tuesday and the following Saturday. So, uh, so we did that tactically um, today. Um, obviously, the others uh, was a tactical one terms of MacArthur coming on and then obviously the, the other one was an injury to uh, to Sloppy so Zaki comes on. You decide that before kickoff? Uh, yes. Can you just clear up what happened with Remy when he came on for Ben Second? Did it appear that Mike Jones wasn't aware of the substitution? Uh, we, we forgot to give our card in. <laughs> so that was our fault. <laughs> Is Von Arnold in the building? Is it done, Sam? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, I think it's, I think it's close, but I'm not absolutely certain it's finished yet. But he, he, he is with us. Could he be involved in the, in the week? Hopes like, uh, yes, hopefully he'll be involved on Tuesday. Sam Andros started today, but it seems clear Newcastle would still quite like him. Is that, is that impossible to do, given the injuries he got and the fixes he got ahead? He, I have no idea what what the situation is with Andros other than the fact that, that Steve, the chairman, has not told me that Newcastle have made any type of bid whatsoever for us to even consider. So, for me, that's uh, n not even in the back of my mind. Okay. Sam, Sam, you said the uh, importance of uh, improving the defence, but on the attacking side, did you think that today the quality of deliveries and set pieces was quite poor? Uh, uh, only in the second half. I thought the first half was was particularly good, but the second half we we hit too many front men, as we call it. Don't hit the man in the front end. So first half I was pleased with that. Second half um, it wasn't as good as you'd like.